1 million fire making experience done in one sitting here at Wintertod farming for the Tomo fire which is the item I need to start doing Solra I'm at 85 fire making let's open four crates here I am opening them pretty much right away after I get them because as soon as I get the tome I am done here no tome this time either Managed to get Max Nick to join me as Wintertod, the greatest cat too. He took some time out of his uh, insane Slayer grind and Black Mask grind to come here and help me get the tome. Hopefully one of us will get lucky at least. So we just hit 2 million fire making experience on the counter. Still no tome of fire. The current KC is 231. Max Nick just finished 50 crates. No tome of fire. So uh, that is kind of unfortunate. I'll open these five now real quick. Some warm gloves and hey, teak seed is not bad. That's like 7k farming experience, but uh, I am up to 246 and also no tome. You know what? I have done 170 winter tods since I started recording for this video and I am almost at 91 fire making and I still do not have the tome of fire and uh, we are overall like 700 winter tods in as a group and we still don't have a tome so we are very unlucky actually on the tome so far and i don't want to spend all the way all to 99 possibly maybe even more than that to get the tome uh, before i can actually post any content at all so what i'm actually going to work on as a small break and i'm still going to do more winter told in the video trust me but it is 55 slayer because i need bolts for solra and we can't really go to soul wars and farm addy bolts all the time so we are going to use broad bolts instead and that requires 55 slayers so that is a detour i will make during this video i swear when i saw that color of the text i thought i got a smoldering stone but uh, no it is a dark totem base which is not bad either if i do get a task where i can get superiors i am going to unlock it because i have 174 points and it costs 150 so let's see what we actually get Assignment, Trolls in Keldagrim, no superiors on that one, so we're going to wait a bit. Honestly, I think the best task I could get is like Blood Velt, because it has both superiors and it's good experience, also give blood runes and all that kind of good stuff, so uh, what are we going to get? Please no Bronze Dragons, Greater Demons and the Chasm of Fire. That is that's probably worth doing. I was actually looking into what the easy combat diaries require you to have to be able to complete the entire thing because if you do you get a 5k experience lamp that I'll probably just put in herb lore or something as you usually do but then you also get a hilt item that lets you teleport three times directly to the god wars dungeon and we might be doing some god wars dungeon in the near future so having that would be very nice and the achievements are not very hard, I basically can complete everything except for one task. And that is kill a worm, which requires 62 slayer, but maybe I can get some boost somehow. I don't know how hard it would be to get a wild pie, probably very hard, so I would probably have to get all the way to 62. But I actually feel like I want to do that. It is uh, something I have to get up anyways, Slayer levels that is, and I might as well just complete the easy diaries while I'm at it. I think the hardest easy combat diary I will have to do is this one, King Black Dragon Novice. Kill the King Black Dragon 10 times. Now I'm thinking, oh this one as well, 10 giant mole is kind of hard, but this one is the 62 Slayer. But other than that, I think everything else is pretty easy. Sarachnis 10 times, that's also kind of easy. Lizardman Shamans, kill a Lizardman Shaman in Mulch, which has not dealt damage to anyone, excluding its spawns. Probably not very hard either. No way, I got back-to-back -back Brimstone Keys. Look in the chat. That was a back-to-back. -back. Nice! An easy task to complete is to kill one Hiller Giant, one Moss Giant, and one Fire Giant in this cave, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Meanwhile, I'm doing my Slayer task. Only 11 left, by the way, so pretty soon done with that as well. Should be the task done here in one more hit. There we go. Let's run up here, and when he dies... Oh, Dark Totem! I didn't even know you could get that from this, but yeah, there you go. Congratulations, you've completed an easy combat task. Wow, I had no idea this counted as uh, the uh, current dungeon. I guess it does, so you can actually get pieces. Imagine if I would get one of the Mystic pieces or the Broken Hasta. Hey, we can hope. And we get Sea Turtles. That is a lot of food. Uh, probably decent, I would say. And then steel bars, that is, I guess, cannonballs, if uh, someone would ever want to smith that in the future. Oh, blood welds in the God Wars dungeon, no! 
That is so bad. I feel like I have to skip that because in the God Wars dungeon it's going to be such a pain. Oh, that is sad that I have to skip that. Greater demons in the catacombs of current. Ooh, well, okay, I'll do it. There we go, 55 Slayer, and I have been given 1,000 Broad Balls by Max Nick, who could make them, so we're actually going to go and first off open two Brimstone Keys and also try to complete this hard clue scroll that I got, but after that, we're actually going to try to do some KBD if it's possible to solo it. Let's see what we get from these keys, hopefully something good. Some coal, I actually think someone needed that in our group, so not terrible, and then even more coal, alright, we have a lot of that now. Actually could complete this, so let's see what we're going to get. Would be nice with some alky balls, but anything is pretty good. God Dehides is also good. What is this? Green Firelighter's new unique, eh? Taking that. I hope this gear will be enough to get some KBD kills. Only need 10, so if I can do one per trip, that is alright. I don't need to stay there for ages. But uh, hopefully I don't get PK. That would be pretty bad as well. I would lose the black Dehides. Nice, no one is in this session, and uh, wow, I am getting hit pretty hard, uh, this is, <laughs> hopefully I will be able to do this. Oh, it drains my stats as well, that is not very good, I don't think we even have any restores, but it doesn't seem to be that bad drain. Oh my god, I'm taking insane amounts of damage, maybe I will have to call, call for some backup for this. I mean, the damage output I'm doing is not the problem, I am killing it fairly fast, but you can see I'm out of food now and it's only halfway dead, I would have to teleport to the Ferox Enclave again so I won't get the kill. But um, if I would have another person here, we could probably kill it pretty fast and uh, we would split the damage taken, which would make it a lot more bearable. You can see the damage, it's not bad that I'm doing. Went to the bank and came back and no one had touched the boss, so that was pretty lucky. And I can at least finish the first kill on my own if I can just get one more hit in here. That should be it. And that is the first KC done. What is the first drop going to be? And we get some blood runes. We get some dragon bones, of course. But uh, yeah, I would love to have some help here. So in two hours we're going to do it as a group, actually we're going to do a couple of KBD kills, maybe finish the task for everyone, but until then I'm just going to farm some giant keys or mossy keys because I will need a bunch of them for a lot of tasks actually those bosses give. I could kill the uh, hill giants right here because there's a lot of them, but I might as well kill actually in the cave that I was at before because I think it can drop the totem pieces on the normal hill giants as well, so I might as well just do it here. It's less of them, but they probably have very fast respawn, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, that is not a totem piece and not a key, but Ancient Shard, that is another addition to why I should do them in here, I guess. Okay, another Ancient Shard, only one more if I would get the Dark Light and I can actually make the Arc Light, which is super good weapon, but uh, by the way, I do know you can kill these in the wilderness for pretty much double the drop chance of getting a key but uh, yeah as I said the ancient shards I will need in the future anyways and I don't mind being here a bit longer okay I'm three times the drop rate I feel like I'm definitely going to go into the wilderness and just try to finish this off oh my god finally there we go that's the giant key and that took me how many in the wilderness 81 so not that bad finally got it though I think from looking at the achievement, I think I will be able to get all the th three achievements in one kill. Uh, but what I have to do is I have to kill it on a free-to-play world. I have to kill it when it's rooted and that should be everything. So one kill, kill it when it's rooted and kill it in a free-to-play world. So if I can do all of that in one kill, I'm basically done. So this is actually my gear. I mean, this is the best free-to-play gear I can use. I don't know if there's any. I mean, I could get a wizard hat, but it wouldn't really make much of a difference. Hopefully I get all the three in one so I don't have to go and get another key because that was painful. 3 HP, I just rooted him, so please let me hit. Oh no, that's a mess. It only lasts for 10 seconds to root, so I'm not going to risk another shot here. I'm just going to reroute it. Come on, can we reroute it, please? Oh, uh, that's some damage. Okay, so it's 3 HP. If I get the hit here, please do not unroot now, please. Let's see if that's all the challenges. All the three in one. Perfect. I don't have to go and get another key. Finishing off some very easy tasks, killing a blood veld being the first one. I have to kill a greater demon with a silver light, <laughs> it's the best one I have, I don't have dark light or arc light yet of course, but hey, got that done as well. Wait, I just realized, I got a medium challenge on Obor, so that means I did not get all of them. Kill Obor while he is immobilized, wait, there's no way, I'm pretty sure he was rooted when I killed him, so why did I not get that? 
probably something I must have misunderstood then. But it's time now to go and get that 10 KC on King Black Dragon. We're going as a three man Max, Nick, Dovidas, and me, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I, have, I didn't even bring a tele. Oh, I didn't bring a teleport. I have to. Oh my god, how do I get out of here for a teleport? <laughs> uh, running I don't in know. to uh, Chaos Temple. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, or you could just die and just respawn, collect all your items. Yeah, I could. I'm, ho I'm on halfway point now, so I have five kills. Rune oh, limbs. That oh, could have been good if uh, <laughs> we didn't have rune crossbows already. Well, I can make the. We only have four. I can make the fifth. Oh, That's really? Nice. Come on, get the kill. Oh my, oh god. my god. 24 melee. I'm like trying to flick it, but like I, I like misclick and then bam, I just take a 24 to the face. Yeah, power amulet again. Two oh, of those. Oh, 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 hello. What are we doing, boys? Potential last kill here. KBD. Oh! oh. Dragon, nice. uh, dragon rune longsword, I mean. <laughs> dragon long sword. Dragon longsword. Okay, but that's All my right, task so completed. Good. After completing the 10 kills for KBD, by the way, we only did it for me. The other ones uh, didn't really feel like completing the easy diaries right now anyways. So I went to the giant mole and killing this with range with my setup is probably the best bet, but it is also very slow. But that is the first kill and also an achievement. Hard one, actually. But this is the last kill, it took me like an hour to do this, but I was just chilling with my teammates in the voice chat, so it wasn't too bad, but uh, doing this without the uh, hard diary in Falador is pretty annoying. After that, I got myself two mossy keys from the wilderness, I got pretty lucky on them, I think it took me like 80 kills to get both of them, and there are five tasks for this boss, the harder ones being the two last ones, which is kill the boss with either poison or venom being the final source of damage, and I'm going to do that through my dragon dagger, and then the second one is of course kill it on a free to play world, should be dying here in a sec. And I hope that I'm going to get all the achievements from this, because I use the anti-poison so I wouldn't take any poison damage, which is one of the tasks. And having the magic prayer up, okay, there we go, so it died. And let's see, one of the tasks, and then all the other ones as well. And I got a mossy key as well, so I have another attempt at the free-to-play kill. But I think the only thing I have to do now is just kill it on a free-to-play world, so shouldn't be that bad. I'm not joking, this is my gear. Uh, I don't actually have, like, any rune items in my bank at all, I only have Barrow's gear. Uh, the only rune item I had was a rune med helm, so hopefully this monk's gear is going to be enough and the rune 2 age was the best weapon I had. So let's uh, hope I don't die. If I die though, I have another key, so it's not that terrible. I have to say, my prayer was kinda close on that one, but managed to get the kill for some law runes, and that is now all the challenges completed from this boss. After that, I went ahead and got 100% Shazian favor right here, and I got the full tier 5 set, which allows me to kill Lizardman Shamans, so let's do that. There are two tasks for those. There's one task to just kill one, and there is one to not take damage, I think, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get both of them in this task, I'm not sure if I took any damage, honestly, but regardless, I'm going to get one of the tasks done here, so let's see if we get one or two. And we get both of them. Alright, so that's pretty easy. Going to get the fabric as well to make the mage gear, I guess. But uh, yeah, two more tasks done. Now for the last thing I want to do for the video is I want to open all of these crates. I have been doing some winter thought on the side and uh, I am really hoping to get that tome of fire. The progress I made on the easy diary so far is uh, this. I'm very close to done. I really only need to get 62 uh, Slayer for the Aberrant Spectres and the Worm. And then I have to do a very easy Temporos task, and then I have to do 10 Sarachnis kills and kill Obor. Meanwhile he is entangled, I think I screwed that up, so not too hard tasks. I'm going to get that 100% in the next video, but uh, let's see if we can manage to get the Tome of Fire. And that is that. I did not get a Tome of Fire just yet, and uh, I mean, I'm pretty close to 92 fire making, so pretty much halfway there. But I'm going to still work on it, really want that, I really want to use that for Soldra, so it is a passive grind I'll work on, meanwhile doing other things. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode though, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see future content, and have a good one, take care.